Hi, welcome to Talking Tunes. I'm Glenda, and I'll be gabbing with you about writing music for students, for stage one students, and also writing music with stage one students in their lessons. You may have seen this video on our YouTube channel recently. It's a song that I wrote for a stage one student called Ode to Oak Left. Definitely check it out. It's reminiscent of our Piano Tales videos where we have little animated skits paired with student performances um, and often even student composers. So the music is always written by faculty or students. So you can see here that I've written the piece for two different levels. Early stage one is just learning from zero. Late stage one has already figured out how to play in different hand positions, but also is doing some movement, some chords, hand movements, stuff like that. Let's play a little bit of this one. Okay, so let's just hear that much of the second version where same dominant tonic vibes, but we have the whole chord instead of just one held note. So the melody is in a C5 finger scale and it does not change from version to version. What changes is the left hand. So um, early stage one students are still learning this coordination between playing a held note in the left hand while movement, while more than one note is happening in the right hand. Um, I've also been careful to when there is hands together motion always having it be in parallel motion. You can see here, this is very clearly just a C5 finger scale that goes up and down. This is one thing when I'm teaching stage one students, I love when they recognize that because that shows me that they're really building their musical vocabulary. They're noticing, oh, this is a whole scale. This isn't just note by note by note. When this theme comes back in the end, this five finger scale thing, I've kept it the same, still parallel motion, but I've challenged the upper level students a little bit more here by adding in, well, in this part where hands are playing together, I've added in the left hand stepping up while the right hand is staying the same. Then we go back to parallel motion. Um, and then this is the part where it's made a little bit trickier. The It breaks out of a five finger position. The left hand has to cross finger two over to finger one right here to grab that A and it's a bit contrapuntal. It's not parallel or contrary, it's mixing. So that's a little tricky spot for our stage two, I mean, for our late stage one students. For the early S1 version, I've just repeated the music exactly the same so that once they've learned this, they can just apply that, oh, it's the same thing, but with different words here. But I've challenged the later level student to, instead of having a blocked chord, have a broken chord. And then we have a six and some register jobs. Thanks for tuning into Talking Tunes. I'm Glenda. This is my Ode to Oaklaf. And tune in for more tips on writing music for different levels of stage one students and also teaching your stage one students how to compose and improvise. Thank you.